Oh boy, oh boy. We got some big news to talk about. Justin Byrne has been sent down to the Lavelle Rocket and Big Bad Arbor Jack the Undertaker himself has been called back up. Can you feel it? Can you feel the excitement? And wait, 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 that's not all. Go ahead, take a look and see who's going to be going head to head against Montreal tomorrow night. Oh my god. I hope they got insurance. But you gotta admit, a change was definitely needed. Remember Saturday here? Let me just go ahead and refresh your memory. The Canadians got stomped on in Boston. They didn't just lose, no. They lost 9-4. to four. And you know what? After the game, Chris Nyland was absolutely right. Look what he said. It was sad watching the Canadians just pack it in. I know it's not the 80s anymore, but you're still allowed to be pissed off when you're getting shit kicked. And guys, that's a that's a fair assessment. I prefer a team that's got a little bit of emotion and doesn't just roll over and die. And Arby's proven in the past that he just, he bleeds for that team, man. He bleeds for him. The Canadians sent Jack Eye down to Laval in early December. And what an early shitty Christmas gift that was. I didn't like it. And I let it be known from the start. A lot of people were complaining about his defensive game as if, you know, everybody else was perfect. But no, no. No, 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 no. We are far away from a defensive masterclass Kazakh stands right now. Yeah, Jack I needs some work at his own end of the rink, but so does everybody. They're kids, man, and there's a lot of work to be done. But we do gotta give Jack I some credit, cause what did he do? He went down there and he took it like a champ, man, putting up 11 points in 17 games and of course being absolutely terrifying in the process not only did his game improve but look at the laval rocket right now i mean anybody that's been watching this team knows that they were garbage to start this season they were a ketchup sandwich and as soon as jack i joined bam instant success baloney sandwich and i still hope that they can keep up the pace without him now Justin Barron is about to take his place right now. I feel like the Canadians made the right move here. Barron's been, he's been struggling of late, okay? But it's all good because just like Jack Eye, he's still young. He's only 22 years old and he's got a lot of offensive oomph to his game. It did become pretty evident that he, you know, clearly needs work at his own end. But I'd also like to see him learn how to use his body some more as well. You know what I mean? He's a big boy, man. He's six foot two, but just, he plays a bit too timid sometimes. Friggin' Justin Barron wouldn't kill a mosquito if it took like 10 vials of blood from him. And somebody's gotta change that, man. He must hate summertime. Mitchell Stevens was also sent to Laval today as well, most likely to make room for Tanner Pearson, or at least that's what I've been reading. But Stevens, of course, has to clear waivers first, so hopefully he doesn't get snagged. Now, the big question is, who's gonna play down the middle now? We got Nick Suzuki, Sean Monahan, and Jake Evans. I mean, am I missing anyone? Because I don't think I am. Kinda weird, but you can go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you pumped? to see Jack Eye return to the lineup, because I am. The games are about to get a lot more fun to watch. Don't forget to stay up on the like button onto the boards before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.